Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. So Activision Blizzard is this company that's full of scumbags that are going to feed on other people's hard work and sometimes their misery to have bigger bonuses and I'm speaking about the CEO here, the bigger boys out there like Bobby Kotick, J. Allen Brack and the like. There were news earlier this year about Bobby Kotick getting a lot of money as a CEO and a lot of bonuses and I was like okay that's not really something specific to Activision Blizzard but all of CEOs in all of companies get those bonuses and get a lot more money than some people think they should do and certainly a lot more than the people who actually work really hard and when you have companies like Activision Blizzard and Bethesda giving the sack to their employees and it doesn't matter whether the company is doing well or not if the company does well they're just going to give the sack to some employees if the company isn't doing well then I guess that's something to be expected. In general, success means job stability. It means getting a reward for your hard work and thus probably having your job for a longer time and having better pay. But for Activision Blizzard, it's not the case at all. Whether you overperform or underperform, they're not going to take care of you. They're not going to care about you. It's just going to be this Russian roulette every year employees are just going to be fired only because someone wants to get a higher bonus and claim that they have done something to make the company improve while in fact the thing that they have done and i'm speaking about bobby kotick here specifically is only ruin the livelihood of other people who worked hard for him to get that higher bonus and here we have this article by jason schreier talking about the horror stories that these people who work for Activision are going through and the really low wages that don't reflect what these people are down in the company hierarchy do. So the article was corrected only today, August the 6th, and there is this spreadsheet that the employees circulated among themselves to discuss their salaries and to see how things are going and according to the article here it says that it contains dozens of purported blizzard salaries and pay bumps most of the raises are below 10 percent significantly less than blizzard employees said they expected following the study so the people there expected a raise in their salaries because the company is doing well and the company is doing well because these people are working really hard and giving it all their best and then they're giving them something like less than 10% of a raise and it's not enough because some people just like according to this article are paid like minimum wage and the Activision Blizzard spokesperson Jessica Taylor said quote our goal has always been to ensure we compensate our employees fairly and competitively it's a blatant lie no one's gonna take that seriously we now know how things are going in Activision Blizzard quote we are constantly reviewing compensation philosophies to better recognize the talent of our highest performance and keep us competitive in the industry all within the aim of rewarding and investing more in top employees and this is actually the point investing in top employees what do you mean exactly by top employees do you mean those top employees in the hierarchy because that's what it seems like Kotick is getting millions upon millions of dollars a year while the people who work hard are just struggling to make ends meet and this philosophy of rewarding the highest performers is really good in theory but in practice in Activision Blizzard it doesn't mean anything I have highlighted another thing here and it says in internal messages reviewed by Bloomberg News Blizzard employees said they were struggling to make ends meet just like what I said while watching Activision Blizzard revenue grow year after year some producers and engineers at Blizzard can make well over a hundred thousand dollars a year but others such as video game testers and customer service representatives are often paid much less so Activision Blizzard is not really caring about these people in specific like those game testers and customer service because they think those people are not important but you know that these people are very important and that other industries pay testers a lot more those testers will give you a good idea about how your product is in this case a video game give you the opportunity to improve it and to remove any kind of 
potential bugs and whatnot so that you deliver a product that is celebrated by fans and thus have more sales another thing here which speaks about the horror stories these people go through one employee wrote that they had to skip meals to pay rent and that they used the company's free coffee as an appetite suppressant another said they would only eat oatmeal and bail on team lunches because they couldn't afford to buy food at the company cafeteria so imagine the cafeteria is made for those people who work in that company and people who work there cannot even afford to buy things that should be targeted to them a third said they and their partner stopped talking about having kids because they knew they wouldn't be able to afford it so there you have it when people can't even afford daily life, paying rent and making ends meet, we have scumbags getting millions upon millions of dollars. And the problem is that the people like Bobby Kotick get these millions of dollars because they ruin the lives of their employees by firing them and by not paying them enough what they deserve regarding their performances. And no one is asking Bobby Kotick to be like late Satoru Iwata who was willing to cut down from his salary just to keep the people who worked with him and not make them lose their jobs. No one is asking Kotick that because he is incapable of doing such a thing. But all these people are asking is give them the salaries that they deserve according to the performances. It's nothing much to ask. It's something based on meritocracy. But because people like Bobby Kotick have absolute power in Activision Blizzard, they will do whatever they like and no one's going to talk to them. And and they will not face any repercussions and to all those companies that don't treat their employees well either by not paying them what they deserve or by making them work very long hours and horrible crunch culture i tell them fuck you you're scumbags and i hope you lose and i hope your companies just lose thank you for watching if you enjoyed the video please leave a thumbs up and subscribe for more your comments are always welcome and i will talk to you again soon have a good one